Come on in, come on in. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Just want to come in here early in the morning. Y'all know my morning window breeze. I just love it. I just love that morning winter breeze, y'all. just feel so good. And I'll be watching the squirrels and the birds and all that stuff. The bread that I put out there for them, I, you know what? I'm thinking I'm, I'm kind of getting to feel of when they was pooping on my car. Do you think they was pooping on my car because I stopped feeding them like I, you know, I was feeding them like every every other day or something like that. You think because I stopped for a minute, they was mad at me? You, you know, you never know. You just never know. Because it seemed like when I put a hole on them, you know, feed them bread and stuff, they was tearing that car up. <laughs> it's like, they was like, okay, you don't want to feed me? So this is what you're going to have to go through. You just never know. You just never know. But um, this is a cute shirt. I got this from um, Walmart. It says Super Chill. I like it. It's so cool and relaxed and everything. It's just so relaxed. So I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I hope you're doing something good on the 4th. I hope you're with your family and your friends and y'all celebrating and having a good time. You know, some people start early. I remember when, um, cause you know, I'm from the DMV, I'm from Washington, DC. So early in the morning, everybody will, you know, the family will cook the night before, all of the families will cook the night before, and then everybody would get together and um, go to the monument. Um, and so we'll, we'll stay out there the whole day and we will um, find places on the lawn to see the fireworks. Yes, we would do that. And then we would spend about three hours trying to get out of traffic. <laughs> three hours trying to get out of traffic because everybody was down there and that's how we spend our holiday. Look, y'all got a tan. I have a tan on my forehead because I wear these scarves. And um, I got a tan all on my forehead. Y'all didn't see my hair out when I used to twist it in my old, old, old videos with that iPhone 6. They had no color. Then, man, that was the worst. I still got it too. That was the worst. Um, that phone, no color, no nothing. I couldn't bright. It was just, it was just terrible. But I still got it. Um, I probably give it to a little child or something like that after I get everything I want to get off the phone or whatever. But anyway, but yeah, that iPhone six ain't have a good color. Ain't do nothing, but. I'm going to try to um, cook something today and see if I can do it on the Android. So I'm going to try to see if I can do it on the Android and see if it worked for us. So y'all can see what I'm cooking today for the 4th of July. But I feel so cool and relaxed. I like shirts like this so I can feel relaxed. And I got on some leggings. I hope you can see it. I got on some leggings and with my shirt. I'm going to tell y'all something. Um, I'm just going to give you the raw cut. I know a lot of women, and I know for myself, I had surgery on my stomach. My first daughter, when I had her, she was seven, seven, seven pounds, nine ounces, or 11 ounces. I can't remember. It's been over 30 some years. My second daughter, Jasmine, she was nine pounds, seven ounces. Oof. And I had to have a C-section. And doctor even came back and apologized to me and said, I didn't know she was that big. I'm like, really, sir? Then my other daughter was eight. I think Leah was eight. And then my son, he was born premature because I had the fibroids in the way. Um, so I'm just really sub subconscious about my stomach, y'all, because I had surgery to repair it. And it's still like, it's, it's just taking its time to do what it got to do. Then y'all know I had that surgery in September with my stomach and stuff like that. So I have a little stomach issues and stuff like that. So basically, um... I'm very careful. I got to be very careful what I eat, what I drink. I, put, I stopped drinking years years ago. It had to, Well, about two and a half years, I was just drinking wine. i be honest with you. But I even cut that back. So basically, um, I don't drink at all. I just chill out and just stay home and have fun and try to take care of my kids and try to do the best thing. And um, that's where I'm at. 
That's why I'm going to be at for a long time. But I think I need to stop putting my scarves on so tight on my head um, when I'm leaving out, too. But I like my scarves because when I see, like, when the sun is on my head, I get real bad headaches. And y'all know my headaches are so bad. If y'all don't see me, if I don't come over on here, it's either I have the bad headache or I just had one of those days. Other than that, you're going to see me on here, okay? Other than that, you're going to see me on it. So, y'all already know. If y'all don't see me, oh, she might be having a headache day or something she's trying to do. That's the only way you won't see me because I really like YouTube. And then when I got that copy strike the other day, I was so mad because the, the iPhone been acting up on me. So, and um, you know how you do the music um, videos. I didn't think it would add gold that further over. For, I thought it would just end with the music, with the YouTube music, but no, it, it used the other music that I had when they did a collage on the other phone, however, but it is what it is. I'm going to continue to do my best and just know that was a mistake. You know, we're not perfect. We're going to make mistakes. And when you don't know, you don't know. Just being honest. But yeah, um, last night I slept okay. I hope you slept good last night too. I hope you slept good last night too. But I just want y'all to have the wonder, a wonderful 4th of July. I have a message for you. Just please, please do it around family and friends. And another thing, watch your kids. Because people come out on days like this. Y'all know what I'm talking about. To destroy people's family and stuff like that. So just be very careful. You know, give the other family a break when you're out there lighting those fireworks and stuff like that. Like, give yourself a distance. Give the other family a distance so everybody won't be so close together lighting the fireworks and stuff like that. And then when you finish, clean up your mess and pack up your family and go home. There's no reason why you should be still out there at the 4th of July. It's over. I think 9.30ish or whatever or not, you know, whatever. Pack it up pack it up that's why they tell you to start early so you can do everything you can do on a fourth so you don't have to be out there all night you know just try to have fun you know all your problems that you have erase it this is the day to enjoy yourself and have some fun just put it away enjoy yourself with your family and your friends if you're mad with somebody Fix it. If you can't fix it, put it to the side. Enjoy your day, okay? If you can, if you like, if the person that like to stay in the house, stay in the house. But if you feel as though you want to go out and just be with your family and friends, do that. Have look, life. You only have one life to live. Enjoy it. Embrace it. You mad with your partners? Put it to the side. Go out today and have you some fun. Enjoy your Fourth of July. Because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to find stuff to some move a movie or something. Um. And just chill. My kids don't really like to be outside like that. I'm going to be honest with you. They don't really like. It's like whatever with them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. So, it is what it is. I just came here to say hi to you. Look at my squirrel. Y'all told you they come to visit me. Look. Hi. 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 I told you. Say they like, what you going to do, lady? Are you going to feed me? So, I'm going to feed my squirrels, y'all. I told you. They come to me. When I'm out, people come to me. And, you know, maybe that's a good thing. Right? Maybe it's a good thing. But look, happy 4th of July. And remember to have fun. I might come in later to do that little quick meal I want to do. I'll see. I'll see. But anyway, happy 4th. Enjoy yourself and take care and take care of each other. Talk to you later. Thank you for visiting Angie's Place, and we'll talk soon.